How you doing guys? Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Uh, this is the HTML email developer channel. I want to talk about portfolios and uh, building your portfolios. Guys, it's uh, important that you guys build an original portfolio. Now, what do I mean by the original? Of course, you don't have you don't own your own uh, images or anything, your PSDs. Um, but I'm saying what I'm saying is do not copy verbatim from uh, other email templates, uh, no matter where you see them on uh, on the Internet. Now, you can get various ideas uh, just by Googling or going to uh, different uh, email service providers pages and just seeing different examples of uh, various HTML email uh, templates. But. When you're creating your portfolio, you need to get your own images from uh, various. You can go to Pixabay, uh, Pixels, Pixels, or whatever, and uh, create your portfolio. Uh, don't just copy what you see on other email uh, templates. Um, now, I did uh, create a um, a template from this certain company. Uh, it was a transactional email. And it was from Red Robin. But I changed it up. I switched it up uh, from the way it looked and added things and, and deleted things. Um, but I shouldn't have called it Red Robin. So make sure you change the name as well. Uh, that was one of my first or second uh, HTML email templates. But I shouldn't have did that. I, I shouldn't have even kept the name. And first and foremost, I, sh I shouldn't have copied that. Uh, but I made it my own style, but then again, I shouldn't have did it at all. So what I'm telling you guys is just make your own, um, your own portfolios, uh, be more original. Um, I know some courses out there and, uh, you know, some people just buy the course and they, they copy the, uh, uh portfolios verbatim, uh, from the, um, uh, I'm sorry, they, they, they copy the HTML templates verbatim from the uh, courses, and you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. Um, you should just go to uh, just go to various websites. I mean, you can go to like Macy's or you know Target or whatever. If you're building a promotional email, uh, HTML email, then just grab you know certain things from uh, you know Macy's, Targets, J.C. Penney's, and uh, you know implement them into your code. But you want your portfolios to be different and original. Uh, you don't want it to look like the same as anybody else's, you know. Um, I also had another website that I pulled different, you know, luxury items from. And uh, instead of saying their whole name, I, I, I kind of shortened their names with the initials and stuff. So you want to try to be original when creating your portfolio. Um, that way when these the employees look at it, you know, they will they will be more impressed. And now if they see that you're copying some verbatim that they seen on other portfolios, then of course they're not going to give you a call. So again, um, just try to go in and, uh, be creative, uh, just get different. And you know, like I say, although it's all these imaging websites out here, you could pull a lot of stuff from there, but you don't want to, uh, just copy verbatim. And also, uh, Another question is, uh, do I think if you pull something from J.C. Penney or Macy's or whatever, uh, would you get in trouble? No, no, you wouldn't get in trouble because I, I made um, a couple of portfolios with uh, major branding companies, and uh, you know they didn't, you know they're not going to contact you, to be honest, because uh, you're not. You mean you have a portfolio? It's not like you're like a conglomerate company that's competing with them or anything. So you will be fine. But again. Be original. Do not go and copy other, uh, I'd say, email templates verbatim because that's not going to cut it when it's time for people to start looking at your resume and your portfolio and when you're looking to get hired or have interviews. Again, guys, this is the HTML Developer YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Take care.